Welcome, everyone. This is Lucker Larson. Tonight, we will be talking to a globe apologist and anti-flat earther, MC Loon. Welcome to the show, Loon. You don't mind if I call you Loon? That's fine, Lucky. I am happy to be here. It's Lucker. Don't call me Lucky. But I am hoping we can have a good, honest discussion, so I hear you've been trying and failing to argue with flat earthers. How long have you been doing this? A few years now, and I would not call it failing. Sure, the real flat earthers won't fall for my fallacies or manipulative tactics. But I never cared about them. I just care about my subscribers, or the true globe believers who take my words on faith. So it's not about them, it's about the audience. I understand that. But you say faith, do you then fancy yourself like some kind of priest? Yes, Lucker. I always wanted to be a priest after I heard about all the scandals within the Catholic Church, but they did not want me. Thankfully, the flat earthers helped me realize I was already a part of the biggest religion. Now I can lure young people to me as I confirm their beliefs. Oh, so you are thankful for the flat earthers then, deep down? Oh yes, they changed my whole life. Now I have a good income and people who believe in me, worshipping the ground I walk on. Before, I was just a sad little man in mother's basement. Arguing with people online, no one cared. Wow, that is quite the change. Based on what I've seen, I would have thought you did not like them, but hearing you now, I see that it is more complex than that. So would you say it's more a love-hate relationship then? Yes, exactly, Lucker. I hate that they are so intelligent and hard to argue against, always calling me out for my tactics. I mean, they are not wrong. It's just why I would rather make videos about them than try to convince them of something I know is wrong. Oh, so they are not wrong? Do you know the Earth is not a globe then? I have seen all of the evidence they give us, of course I know. I need to know on some level what to avoid and obfuscate. As Matthew Learns always says, it's just a belief. It's my job to try to convince people that fallacies prove their beliefs true. And business is good. So are you lying to your audience or are you lying to mine? Yes and no, Lucker. Through trauma-based mind control, my psyche has been fractured. What you are speaking to now is my honest altar which is why I am capable of speaking the truth. Normally, my handlers control my state, so I only use fallacies and manipulative tactics. But there are no handlers here now, and so I am telling you the truth. Wow. That is shocking, but I do appreciate the honesty. But this leads to even more questions. How long have you had handlers? I don't know, Lucker. Much of my memory is fragmented, but I can say for years. My family has always been involved with shady secret societies, so... Who is to say when it really started? My first memory is of plump birds, and much of my life has revolved around the majestic bird, the loon. It's where my name comes from. That is interesting. So these secret societies are behind the globe belief. Is that what you are telling me? Yes, granted, most have no clue about that connection. They were just raised with the globe belief through schooling. You have to be initiated as deeply as my father to even get a glimpse of this. Now it's all starting to sound very conspiratorial. Why would anyone lie about the shape of the Earth? It just does not make any sense. You are having a moment of cognitive dissonance, Lucker. Why would they lie? Money, power, status, to name a few. But probably the most important, it destroyed morality. What do you mean by cognitive dissonance? As your mind tries to reconcile with contradictory ideas, your old worldview, and what I am telling you. It leads to discomfort, which is most easily dispelled through denial, rationalizations, or deflections. Just take a moment to think. Why they would lie is not as important as the facts. You surprise me, Loon. You did not seem this eloquent or logical when speaking to the Flat Earthers on the recordings I have seen. Quite an unexpected side to you, I must say. Ah, yes. When I don't have access to the honest altar, I also don't have access to my logical side, as that would cause me to see through my own deceptions, or the globe belief. So my handlers keep me just stupid enough to argue as a priest of the globe. And you don't resent them for that? No, not at all. My resentment is suppressed in a different fractured personality or altar. It's comfortable to have no dissonance and have people tell you that you are smart, even if you are not. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. Okay, I don't agree with that, but I want to go back to what you said earlier, or the destruction of morality. What exactly do you mean by that? Ah, that is a complex subject. You see, before the 1900s, there were many flat earthers in the world, still following the old views, even scientists, most of them Christian. Since the Bible declares it is flat, and told them to test all things, 
they form the majority of scientists. Now the Vatican and the Cabal is interconnected. It is through agents of the Holy See, in conjunction with Freemasons, that the globe established its dominance. This legitimized it through control of media and schooling. The old cult doctrine of the secret societies that was debunked could now be sold in all its complex glory to the public as a new religion, a great deception, if you will. Turning them from Protestant Christianity to government drone atheists, like in the Holy Book's prophecy, we want to fulfill the prophecies of the Bible to justify our own existence and dominance. Wow, that is some heavy stuff. How do you know all this? Like I told you, Lucker, my family has been in these things for decades, so I have heard, seen, and done things most don't. Granted, much of what I remember is fragmented. But much of this is no secret. You can hear the Flat Earthers talking about it regularly. This is almost too shocking. I never expected this interview to go like this. I was going to ask you some more questions about your arguments for the globe. But you conceded that, and now this. Okay, so, do you want to get out of this situation? No. Why would I? It's lucrative. I get plebs to give me money. It's satisfying when I get praised by others. It's satisfying when we manage to destroy a flat earther's life. I love it, and I appreciate them for being acceptable targets. I thought you liked them at least a little with the love-hate relationship. Why would you harm them? That is just how I show love. And also because we don't like when they have credentials or are very articulate and outspoken. That can have a negative impact on my ego. We might lose volunteer globe apologists faster if we don't, so we must or someone is getting scolded. So we need them to be just dumb crazy people to make our arguments seem coherent. That does not seem healthy in the long run for you or them. Probably not, but who cares? When people think they are random, accidental monkey man pigs with man-determined rights, it's easy for people like me to rule them without them knowing or resisting. I see your point. So this whole thing is to get people to be demoralized and to give up their God-given rights. Is that right? Yes. It's all about the mind control. If they think they are free, they won't try to escape. If they think they know, they won't ever look further. I see. Well, this seems like a much bigger issue than I imagined. Who is pulling all these strings? I don't know. Everything is heavily compartmentalized. I just know my family and handlers, and I am programmed to not be able to talk about them specifically so I can only speak on these things generally from my comprehension or from my experience. So you don't know the bigger plan outside what you have deduced so far based on your position within it? Yes, that is correct. Okay, well, do you have any last words to say to my audience? Sure, subscribe to MC Loon and The Loon A Tick Show. I bring you all the best Globe Zealot news. If you want exclusive access to direct manipulation, you can join my Patreon, and I can help program your mind to be like mine. Well, I guess this ends here, then. Thank you for coming, MC Loon. It's been an enlightening talk. Thank you, Lucker. Until next time, this has been Lucker Larson. Stay safe, stay based. <laughs>